Hey Clint, what's up? Do you want to go do bus stuff with me? I love bus stuff. Nice. What did he say? Who knows? Man, bus stuff is the best. Man, I remember I was so nervous the first time, but it actually is a lot of fun. It's a little intimidating the first time. I get that. Are the girls coming? <laughs> we don't need girls for bus stuff. Oh, come on guys, are y'all doing bus stuff without me? We can do bus stuff with three dudes. There's plenty of room in there. Yeah, the more the merrier. Are y'all sure we can all fit in there? It'll be tight, but we can squeeze in. So, how fast can we go? I don't think you want to go too fast with bus stuff. So, where are we going to do this? Well, the thing about bus stuff is you can do it anywhere. Can y'all stop? What? Stop saying bus stuff. It's gross. Fine. Hey, will you guys help me lay some pipe? Whoa! Oh my. That's huge. Double ended. Hey, welcome to Demolition Ranch. Glad that you guys are here today. I actually just got a brand new gun. This is a Beretta, which I haven't had a brand new Beretta in a while. I think the last one was my M9A3. So this is a Beretta APX, striker fired. It is OD green, as you can see, real pretty. Has a threaded barrel, so we threw a Q Erector 9 on there. This thing is nine millimeter, 20 plus one, with that extended mag there. And I have yet to shoot it. Also has suppressor height sights on there. And today, <laughs> we've shot some chunks of metal, some chunks of minerals before. So I always wanted to try this. This is actually granite. And we got this from a company that makes headstones. And we got them to specifically make a demolition ranch headstone. So a uh, tombstone. So today, uh, demolition ranch has, has died, unfortunately. Uh, what you gonna do? But we gotta revive it by first destroying this tombstone. And we're only going up to 408 shy tack No 50 cal today, because I wanna give it a chance. If I cannot destroy this tombstone with the like five guns I brought ending in a 408 shy tag, then Demolition Ranch is dead forever. No more videos. You don't mean that. I, it might just be a joke, but you never know. Could be serious. We're gonna shoot this thing a little bit first at some targets. I mean, it is, it's heavy. In case y'all didn't know, I'm the world's strongest man. Uh, that weighs 1,400 pounds. And uh, let's shoot some stuff. The deer already, they just heard me talking out here. They're up here in the top of the range. There's four of them. They're all at the top now. Uh, they, they literally come out here just because they think I'm gonna feed them. We don't shoot deer out here. We just feed them stuff. And they're like, oh, that gun range guy's back, let's go hang out. So we have not shot this yet. This thing has the Nielsen device on there, so the booster. So I think it'll run, we'll see. It's always, when you put a new suppressor on a new gun, you never really know what's gonna happen. Oh, I missed. You're like in the worst spot ever. Okay, we're gonna shoot this way so we don't smack a deer. You know there's other targets, right? Yeah, but that one felt really good. <laughs> it was so big. Those were subs. So these are supers. Oh yeah, that's much louder. Ah. Warm. Problem with the Texas Star is it's right in front of a tree. Man! Listen, my bad. I think I'm pulling these all high. So I'm looking at just the tip of the sights because they're right above the suppressor. But I think I'm just pulling them all high. Okie dokie. Uh, let's go ahead and see, well, we're gonna start a little smaller. We're gonna start 22 to see what a 22 does 
to the Demolition Ranch tombstone, which I assume nothing. 22 long rifle out of my little Ruger. And we got a little 22 suppressor on it. I was kind of nervous about what would pop back, but nothing came back yet. Oh, here it is, right here. Tiny, did nothing. Let's go and hit with a nine, because 22, nada. We're back to nine. Just wanna see if I can hit this 100 yard. I'm not used to sights that look over suppressors. Okay. So all those misses earlier were me. That one was the gun for sure though. Okay, slow it down, slow it down. Nine millimeter, hope we don't get hit. Let's go check it out. Dang it. We forgot we were gonna shoot it from behind. So if it survived, at least we'd have a cool thing. But instead, I shot it right here. Knocked all the black out of the uh, tail of the eagle, but really did nothing. This was already cut out like that. We still could spin it around, I guess. Should we start shooting it from behind? You know how much I love shooting it from behind. <laughs> Wait, I don't, I don't know. I do not, for the record, I don't know about that. So the pistol is the APX. This is our uh, ARX 100 that I paid for. And Brett, I'm sorry, but this is an ugly gun. But I actually really like it. I bought this thing because I've seen them forever and they're just weird looking but I do actually kind of like it. Uh, we were out here um, a few months ago with my wife's parents, let my wife's mom shoot this thing. She liked it too. We're gonna shoot a 5.56. Five, Gotta remember how to make the stock come out. 5.56 five, straight at the block and hopefully we don't get any ricochets. Ow! Oh. Ow. Did we bring a med kit? As a matter of fact, we did. Oh, perfect. If you're looking for a med kit, we actually have several options from refugemedical.com. I met these guys at SHOT Show. Uh, what's cool about this, it's all American made products. Um, and they have a bunch of different things. So everything from something, you know, OSHA kit that you'd have at your business to a little boo-boo kit. This thing's like, you know, put in your wife's car. It's got bandages and burn creams and Neosporin and stuff like that. Then you have your more serious kit. This is what you'd want at the range. It has a tourniquet. It has chest seals, those kind of things. And then this is for multiple people. So this is a one man kit. This is a multiple. And they have some other kits as well. And linked in the description below, if you use code DEMO23, you get 10% off your entire order. These guys are cool. Oh, I do need that tourniquet though. Okay. Oh, uh, I forgot, I shouldn't, I should have like put this on before I, I plug the, I should have plugged the artery before I plug the gear. But what you gonna do, you know? Yeah. I thought it would do more than that. Yeah, we've got like a half inch deep hole, maybe. And I only have two guns left. I think we need a bigger boat. Boat? It's from Jaws. Because the shark was bigger than, never mind. 308 out of the Scar Heavy. Uh, this is gonna do nothing. <laughs> Really? I think it brass went bam bam and nailed me. Everyone else is alive though, so I'll quit complaining. You okay there? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Just wondering. It made a less of a dent than the 556, five, like less deep. Can you, I don't know how editing works. Can you cut out the part where I said that we would not make videos anymore? Or is it already live? It's. I think I'll see what I can do. Because we might need a. I don't know if it's too late. But I mean, I, I was hoping that you would. You were kidding, anyways, because I, I still kind of need a job. I don't. I don't kid. The Shy Tech intervention. What a beauty! Chambered in 408 Shy Tech, and we have a brand new Huxworks suppressor. This is the HXQD ELR, and as you can see, they gave us a special break on the end of this thing. And YouTube, and it says Love Hooks Works. And YouTube allows us to show putting on suppressors now. And it's oh. reverse threaded. <laughs> I knew that. We have yet to shoot it though. This is a flow through suppressor. 408 Shy Tech is a big old boy moving super fast. It is screaming. 
and it's going to do absolutely nothing to this granite. But it's we didn't say anything about it earlier in this video, right? So should be good. We didn't say we're, we cut that part out, right? About canceling canceling the channel. The channel? Yeah. Man, they're I don't know. I don't know. Either. It's too late. Okay. Yeah. We can do whatever we want, though. We can. Yeah, the channel's back. Suck it. We got it about 500 yards. By 500, I mean 50. And uh, we're gonna send it. Four weight shy tack. Let's see what happens. Oh, it knocked a big chunk off, but overall did. Ow! What happened? Um, I didn't realize because I was excited about the suppressor, but I. You scope yourself? I no, I I got hit by a piece. I think it was a ricochet. Do we have another tourniquet? Yeah, we can tourniquet your head. Okay, good. Yeah, right good Just kidding. Don't tourniquet the head. Oh man. High and tight, man. High and tight. Well, uh, as you can see, it did nothing. That looks really cool, though. So hit right here. Knocked out a chunk, but depth-wise, it went the same as the 5.56 and the 308. Yeah, this is way... I really... We got one this thick, like it's a foot thick, because we thought it would be crumbling with every shot. It's not at all. Very strong. All right, we're getting the 50. I changed my mind. Changed my mind. Okay, this is a 50 BMG API. It's going to do not much to it, right? Like... But that's why we're here. I mean, everybody woke up this morning and was like, I wonder, could a headstone stop a bullet? I mean, I, I woke up wondering that. Yeah, not, not because we just got this tombstone in. We just, we just randomly were wondering it today. It's going to do nothing. I mean, it'll do something, but, but not a lot. All right, here we go. Firing. Wait. Wait. It might have. Channel might be saved, dude. Oh, there's a chance. Love it. Can we just take a second to look at how beautiful this is? Also, that both of the last two guns that were in the bed of this truck are worth about twice the value of this truck. Also, look how beautiful that is. I mean, like. This range, we're like in the middle of a freaking rainforest right now, and I got power. Like, it's so good. All right, let's go see if the channel will be around next week or not. So I didn't know if it broke it in half or if it just knocked the pieces off, but yeah, it just knocked the pieces off. It's cracked big time. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Does this count as totally destroyed? Let us know in the comments. It, they're going to say no. Yeah. It's, I mean, look at it. It just knocked it over backwards. Oh. What is crazy though is it destroyed that wood on the pallet. Came in right here, dead center, and the bullet only went about this. Man, the bullet went two inches deep, which is pretty good. <laughs> that's, 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 that's pretty average. That's pretty average or even a little better. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? I'm going back on my word. We're keeping the channel. I don't care. <laughs> okay, good. Oh! <laughs> uh, thanks to Refuge Medical for sponsoring this video. They are linked in the description below. Use code DEMO23 for 10% off. This is one of those things that you've probably been thinking about that you need to get, but instead you keep buying guns. This is more important than a gun. Get one now while you get a discount. Also, uh, if you want to see this thing, we're going to put it up in the front of Bunker Branding. It's uh, in Bernie, Texas, right off the interstate. You can come up, take a picture with it, touch it. There's a crack going through here. It may crack by the time you get there. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you. I really do. And I'll see you next time. I really will. No, man, I don't kiss on the first... Wait, this is like the 500 state, so... Nah, it's weird. <laughs>